Have you ever been to a choir show, or at least wondered what goes on behind the scenes to prepare for one? Have you wondered what a typical day is for choir members and their director? For choir director Garrett Godsey, directing choir is a personal experience. I found my passion for choir in high school. Um, I had incredible choir directors growing up, um, but the one that stuck with me was Mr. Gamble from my uh, high school choir. Um, I was one of those kids that was in so many different choirs in high school and show choir and I just had a ton of fun and carried that with me through, through college. After graduating from Indiana University two years ago, Gotsi was able to get his first job at WCHS. So um, when I graduated from uh, IU in 2020, I was able to uh, apply for the open position here and that's when I, um, that's when I received the job. And, I've uh, worked here since. Whiteland is not just one large choir, but rather, there are many different types of choirs at WCHS. So we have um, seven different choirs here at the high school. We have two beginning choirs. One of them is a treble group, the other is a baritone group. Um, and then we have uh, three show choirs, actually. One of them uh, is called Iridescence. It's sort of our junior varsity show choir. Um, and then our two advanced choirs, one of them is a treble choir and one of them is a mixed choir. That would be Expressions and Rhythm Masters. And then we also have an advanced, um, an advanced jazz vocal group, which is a lot of fun to work with. They, um, they do our most advanced music. This year we've also added on an applied music choir um, for, uh, it's a choir of students with special needs and um, I feel like it's just been a great addition to the school and we're excited to have them perform at our Joyful Sounds of the Season concert. Mr. Godsey has a great passion for being a choir director. My favorite part of being a choir teacher is just the interactions that I get with students. Uh, one thing that's cool about my job is I get to do what I love every day, and that's just create music. And so um, walking into my job, I don't feel like I'm, uh, like I'm dreading anything. I'm looking forward to the sounds that we can create. Performing in a choir can be very challenging sometimes. One of the biggest challenges of performing in a choir is just making sure that you understand that you're on stage at all times. So um, when you're on stage, when you're standing on the stage, uh, you need to be have your chest up, you need to be smiling. Um, other people are watching you. You could be in front of judges, things like that. So you just have to make sure that you're on top of it at all times on stage. In choir, there is a lot more to learn than just the music. Um, kids that join choir um, should expect to learn a couple things. So first of all, uh, we work on a lot of music. Um, we strive to become better musicians, things like that. But we also learn a lot about character. Um, we learn a lot about how to be a better citizen um, and how to help other people and, and bring some of those skills to the real world. Performing in a choir is more than just showing up and singing. It takes much preparation to pull off each show. So there's a couple different pieces to preparing for a concert. Um, the first one is obviously learning the music um, and finding out, you know, where, what notes are we missing? Um, how do we learn the music? That sort of thing. Once we sort of have that piece down, we move into memorization and um, then performing the piece, which requires you to use your face a little bit more and to smile on stage, that sort of stuff. WCHS hosts many choir performances every year, but it's difficult for Gatsy to choose a favorite. Ooh, that's a tough question. I really love all of our concerts that we do because each one of them provides a really unique kind of experience. Uh, I would say the one that I look the most forward to is our Joyful Sounds of the Season performance that happens in December. Um, it typically has some of the happiest, you know, Christmas and holiday winter music and uh, you know, it's just a, a really fun performance altogether. 